All right, what's up, everybody? We are on episode 39 of that time I got reincarnated as a slime, which is called Ramery's Warning. Yeah, we sure had some unexpected plot developments in the last episode, I will say. And Ramery's, uh, Ramery's sorry, showing up at the end there was uh, the least of it. <laughs> I was actually trying to wonder just now, but who was it that originally set us on Ramery's path? Wasn't that Yuki? So if that's the case, is Ramery somehow catching on to the fact that Yuki all this time basically didn't have our best interests in mind? Or that's something I was considering, but I don't really see that being a valid theory because there's no way she would have even come over then in the first place to try and warn us. Like, would she basically have known all this time, if you get what I'm saying, right? Because again, if it was Yuki that set us on the path to find Ramaris, which I'm not 100% sure on, but I kind of figured, like, who else would it have been at the time? Because we were basically there in Angracia teaching the kids, right? And there weren't a lot of um, characters that we met other than them and Yuki, like I said. So, yeah, still, I'm, I'm pretty sure Ramaris here, her warning might actually be about Yuki. But then again, uh, Rimuru, of course, had already basically figured it out on his own. So <laughs> what actually is going to happen here? I have no idea. Maybe Ramaris has some extra intel um, pertaining to, you know, the people that Yuki apparently works together with and uh, uh, what all the clowns and, you know, Clayman are going to be up to and stuff, right? Because Ramaris, of course, was a demon lord herself as well. So anyway, we're going to find out about all of that. I will say that the plot twist involving Yuki definitely came out of left field to me and... Um, yeah, there's a lot of characters, of course, that we're basically getting introduced to at this point. Like, uh, God, Kazalim, I think he might have been called, or something like that. It was something similar to that name. I, I might have said it right, I might not have. But he apparently was like a demon lord whose soul they still had, and they basically put that one inside of a new homunculus. And so now it's this elf character that we've seen. Uh, uh, yeah, again, so she's going to be playing some kind of role, right? In the meantime, we've been basically holding, of course, a massive meeting with everybody involved to try and figure out how to approach all this stuff. And we've got, of course, a bunch of new characters thrown at us, like Aaron's dad, uh, Gazelle Dwogo coming back into play. So there's just lots going on at this point in time. There is also, I should point out, there was the dude protecting this holy church-like place or whatever, right? Uh... He was also a demon lord. I think it was called Valentine, if I'm saying it correctly, or Valentine or something like that, right? He was, of course, protecting against uh, protecting it against Laplace, who was trying to go there. <laughs> and Laplace got his uh, arms and feet chopped off or whatever, right? Or his legs, <laughs> which apparently he's able to just overcome that too. So does that make the clowns like immortal or what is going on there? God, it's a lot. I mean, it's basically all set up. And I actually find that interesting because I did not expect that right coming off of the whole Falmouth stuff, that it's like so quickly we'd be kind of getting back in the middle of it and there would be so much stuff going on because this of course all has to tie back in somehow too with Milim attacking the Beast Kingdom and uh, yeah, what is what is what has happened with Lord Carrion? There's so many questions to ask yourself right now and it's just a lot of puzzle pieces that I'm not really sure how they're all going to fit into place and so all I can really do right now is just pointing out what those puzzle pieces actually are but we are going to dive into this new episode of the show guys and of course if you enjoy my reactions to that time i got reincarnated as a slime you will be able to get early access to the next 16 episodes straight away over on my patreon page which is going to be linked on top of the description over there we're already going to be well on the way with the third season go figure although actually i think that after season two there's a couple more like ovas to watch as well as i think a movie or something i heard so I might actually get around to that uh, first, but even then, if you're watching this on YouTube, we'll probably have started season three already regardless. So go and check all of that out, guys. Full-length reactions are, of course, going to be up there too. Uh, and you can also sign up as a free member and watch at least the next two episodes already right now as well. So I hope to see you there. But with that being said, let's dive into this new episode. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that was her showing up. Clammed against the window. <laughs> it's in grave danger. Doomed to fall. Yeah, that's not really the best kind of message to uh, hear. <laughs> Diablo is not having any of it. I am here. This this place can't fall with me. <laughs> Disrespectful. 
It's 11 now. And now this thing shows up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Veldora's still just reading his manga. He's not even bothered. He is. Sank him with a single punch. Oh, God. She might have mentioned this before, to be fair. It's been a while. But I don't know, in that case, how Veldora is about to react here when he sees her. <laughs> We're bringing her over. That might not be a great thing to do. <laughs> Watch her for a while. <laughs> this shit is so chaotic. Always the vision. Oh, so you are going to be honest about it. Oh. Oh, that's true. Oh, that's true. Oh, that's true. Oh, that's true. Oh, that's I mean, I guess Veldora is basically everybody's enemy. Convinced Veldora and made a deal by calming his rage and honoring him as a guardian. But the damage was basically already done, I guess, huh? Yeah. Damn, great strategy, honestly. ボフリュは天才なのだからな。何しろ、ボフリュは天才と呼ぶとは、なかなか見どころがあるお父さん。フェルトロイスクールです。娘のせいでリムルドのが魔王になったと恐れられ恨まれるよりも。<笑><笑
かっこつけたかったってのもあるけどよ。And I will be next. He can't, he can't help himself to point that out. Damn. I mean, he's kind of right. But I think we've all decided at this point. <laughs> what did he suggest with the agricultural production? Start focusing on that? Yeah, okay, okay. Use your nation to uh, focus on that. I guess we always needed the food still too, right? Yeah. You can always use it at the least. Is Blumen like friendly? Yeah, okay. With two nobles of Felma. Marquis Muller and Count Herman. Fair enough. Dude, that's so cool how we're actually taking over Falmouth now from within, basically, right? Like, that's the entire idea of this. We took care of, of course, a big chunk of their army, and I'm guessing they still have some left over there, but at least, of course, they got the civilians and everybody else. But yeah, now the only way to then have them join us, yeah, is this whole excuse that we came up with on, on Rimuru's side, right? Being forced to, uh, uh, well, I mean, it was their fault. They did attack us, but then being forced to have him turn into a demon lord is like a great excuse to still want to be friends with him, regardless of his decision to, to turn. And then now actually having to infiltrate, or well, infiltrate, you get what I'm saying, right? Like install a new king over in, uh, uh, yeah, Falmouth, and then cause that war and get them all to basically join us. It's so, I don't know, it's so cool. <laughs> ギルマスとしてではなく、ブルムンド王国情報局統括補佐としての発言です。ほむ。その貴族たちを信用できると。ミュラー公爵は実はブルムンド王と統一。ですね、ブラタフオブザキングオブブラムンズ。ヘルマ
というのが我が国上層部の結論だったのですよ I forget actually when it was that we convinced them. Yeah, I forget when it was that we convinced them. Yeah, I forget when it was that we convinced them. Yeah, I forget when it was that we convinced them. Yeah, I forget when it was that we convinced them. Yeah, I forget when it was that we convinced them. Yeah, I forget when it was that we convinced them. Yeah, I forget when it was that we convinced them. Yeah, I forget when it was that we convinced them. Yeah, I forget when it was that we convinced them. Yeah, I forget when it was yeah, good question, actually. The king of the nation himself. Do we know who the king of Blumund is? Like, that's what I'm actually trying to ask myself. Again, I ask myself all these basic, like, basic questions about, wait, when was it actually that we formed kind of the alliance with this dude, with Fuse, right? And there's, there's Aaron and her, basically her whole group, right? And they were all, I think, from Blumen, if I'm saying it correctly. They already got introduced very early in the show, I do remember. But again, Blumen is not actually a nation that we've really dealt with so far, I think, if I'm saying it correctly, right? We're just kind of, yeah, I mean, we're friends here with a couple people from, from Blumen. But other than that, again, not really a, a nation we've dealt with. It's, it's also funny because I do recall that I actually used to confuse Falmouth and Blumen there for the whole time. Because they were both like these other nations that we never really visited much or something. What's that? Go right ahead. <laughs> <laughs> You're ruining his reputation. <laughs> oh, shit. Wait. Oh, shit. I was going to say, is Rimuru doing this? But he is. I guess Rimuru figured that that's what it was going to be about, right? I mean, it's easy to understand why they look at him as such a threat now, potentially. Use it for good. Create a world that's comfortable to live in the way I like it. Yeah. Got the... He's done a pretty good job so far. Look at what we've built here, like the friends we've made. <laughs> That's the show, the friends we made along the way. Exactly, man. Like, how could you not trust this dude? That's what I was saying. Like, just judge him on his personality. Oh, and he'll, he'll give you uh, his favorable reply. Don't worry. God. They really come as a group, huh? They all represent Blumen. Such a great fucking piece of soundtrack. <laughs> hey, somebody woke up somewhat. Okay. On to the next business. Damn, yo, man, that a fucking switch. 
クレイマンといえばあまたの魔人を配下に要する魔王油断のならない相手ですよ。Hey, let's first actually figure out what the fuck m i l l m is up to, man. Still wondering about that. Oh shit. So you're going to be talking with the clowns again, of course. Ah, s t a l l m i l l i m o k e s t a b a s t a n a n o i s o a i n o e s t o s e s t o n a e e s a i i e s o e e e e s e o e e e e e s e o e e Wait, what is he turning into? Like, he already is a demon lord, right? Is there something bigger than a demon lord? Mutual non aggression pact? Did Rimuru sign that? Oh, wait, he's still under that impression, right? That Murin actually died? That's what he said, right? Murin, the medicine master, was killed by that slime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If only. Does he feel bad about that? Clown like that? Huh. I don't think she... Uh, yeah, I don't think it was vice versa. Use one's tool with care. He didn't actually break it. I hate to break it to you. The one I am indebted to? Yeah, no, I mean, he really does think he's got her in the pocket. I mean, he made her, I guess, execute that plan, right? Which was already weirding me out because it seemed to me like Milam was totally independent. How dare he? Fascinating stuff, man. All right, looking forward to seeing where we go next. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. And of course, you can get early access to the next 16 episodes straight away over on my Patreon page, which is going to be linked on top of the description. Go and check it out. You can also sign up as a free member and watch the next two episodes already right now. So I'll see you there.